Hello everybody, uh, today I'm making this video to ask a, a question and an opinion and ask for some help. Um, as most of you know, I've been uh, working on wind turbines for quite a while and I really do like the, the DC generator aspect of the, the motors for the wind turbines. Um, so it got me thinking, because in some of my previous videos I'd used uh, motors like this, the DC radiator fan motors and for two dollars it's it's a great motor but they're just the DC uh, output is just not where it needs to be uh, to get these guys working properly you need to you know do a lot of ratio which which kind of adds to the cost because I'm trying to keep these uh, turbines as cheap as possible so hopefully you know everybody in the world can uh, afford one and that'll solve uh, quite a few problems so uh, I had to turn to uh, small experiments here, and I know that if you increase the magnetic field in these motors, uh, you get a higher uh, RPM on these. So what I did, I just went ahead, took 4.5 uh, volts, put it in series, and I'm going to take my neodymiums here. This one's off a hard drive, so what I'm going to do is attach it in the right spot and you'll be able to hear the increase in uh, RPMs. But if you attach it on the wrong end, it actually decreases. So it might take me a minute to find the right spot. So let's go ahead and get this going. Oops, don't help if they short. Okay, so let's see if I can find the right spot. Nope, that's the wrong. Okay, so as you can tell, uh, oops. as you can tell, hooking this guy up in the right spot, in the right direction, uh, increases RPM. So uh, the next part of the experiment, I wanted to see uh, what would happen on the generator side of this. If I'm uh, generating, you know, have this hooked up to a drill and do the same experiment with this hooked up to a multimeter, will I see... Uh, an increase in the voltage output. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so I got my little generator hooked up to the drill, have it in the lowest setting. Uh, hopefully I can keep it fairly steady so when I attach it, you'll see the pretty decent spike. So, okay, uh, sorry about the noise, but let's get started here. And if I do put it on the wrong side, it's gonna go down. So hopefully I'll put it on the right side. Okay, so as expected, it jumped up about a uh, 0.1, which is uh, pretty good for that that size. And uh, the main question is on this guy or a motor this size for two dollars, is it a, is it even cost effective to uh, get the neodymiums, attach it on there to increase the voltage? And if I do stick the big neodymiums on here, is it going to give me two, three more volts? Or is it not going to give me hardly anything? Um, that, that's the main question. And another question is, where is or how is the cheapest way to get neodymiums? Are they in microwaves? Are they, you know, hard drives? What's the best way to get neodymiums? Because my ultimate goal, to keep, keep these as efficient as possible, make the wind turbines as cheap as possible, that way everybody can have one or make one for themselves. So um, that those are my questions, and I could really use your, your help on that because that, that would solve uh, quite a lot of problems. So, all right, I appreciate you watching this video as always. And uh, feel free to leave comments in the uh, comments on the video because uh, that will definitely help. So, 
All right, thank you for watching this video as always. Take care and God bless.